Hey everybody, guess what? I got some great video today of the 8S test drivers doing some testing after a heavy, heavy downpour. So I got the drone up, got some good video, and here in a few seconds you're gonna see the first approach from the black Model Y with a new driver from last week, the driver's changed. So you, there you can see the approach to the stop line, a slow creep. Look, we've got an opposing car in the median. The Tesla needs to yield to that car perfectly. There's quite an aggressive creep there, but look, we're still waiting. This is pretty, pretty decent traffic. I'd call it light to medium, not heavy. Some of this is medium, some of it's light. All right, look at that turn and pose in the median. Nice, and then it proceeds into the left lane. That was a great, great, unprotected left turn. I think the driver was doing that the whole time. I'm not sure. And here I've got some accelerated uh, time of view here of the traffic. Just you can see kind of the traffic this time of day and what happens. It's around 4.30 in the afternoon after a rain shower. Here I'm slowing down because we're coming back onto the next turn. So here we go. Now we're playing Frogger. Look at this truck. That's craziness. Humans do crazy stuff. So that guy just dipped in here. He's at a crazy angle. Watch what happens next. He's waiting on a gap. He's doing a U-turn inside of an intersection here. And there he goes. So that's a, con that's a work truck. Ladders and everything. And look how he goes into the median. His ladders are sticking out. He barely got out of that lane. He's got a nice pose, just like Tesla is designing. And as soon as these cars clear, there he goes. So look at that. So that guy did a U-turn in an intersection, crossing three lanes of traffic in the exact same way Tesla is designing the pose in this median. So to all of you that don't think this unprotected left turn is reality, where I live, it's reality. It happens every single day. And I can do this in five or six different places. All right, here comes the car again. It honors the stop line. It always does. Creep, it's creeping, it's creeping. Traffic coming, nice pause there. It's pausing, waiting. These wet roads is a new operational environment. I don't think it changes the decision much, but to the cameras, the roads might look different. The shadows are different. The everything can be different, right? So to the neural network, I don't even know how to say how different this is, but I'm glad we have a new interesting um, environment to look at here. The car does really good. It's waiting. Now, here we go. Creep, 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 go. A little right turn, same pose and continues in the left lane with no right traffic. So that was a good example of no right traffic, a lot of left traffic, it waited, it still did the right turn to pose in the median, even though it didn't need it. So that tells me Tesla has modified the algorithm here to where the car does the right turn to pose in the median, even if it doesn't need it, which is amazing. I think that is probably one of the best things I'm excited about because this is a hard problem. We need to cut it into two halves. All right, here we go again. Stop line, creep. A slow pause, waiting, waiting. Look at that, it pre-rolled after that car. And now there's the pause in the median. Now look, this is the worst one I've seen today. The butt is sticking out. Now I don't know if the 8S driver intervened there. If the 8S driver intervened there, we may still have an issue because that car was coming and that butt was still sticking out into that third lane. That worries me a little bit. So I'm going to look at this a little closer. You guys let me know what you think in the comments or in, in this tweet and see if you think that that was an intervention. It might have been. There might be some clues there with the brake lights or something we can tell that was human in nature. But look, I, that acceleration and proceeding there, it could have been back on FSD beta. I don't know about that one. There's a whole lot on that one to look at. So that little glitch there was a whole nother drone shot. I had to redo my battery, but we're back in the air. All right, here's the next drive. Stop line. 
Slow creep. All the way across. I think this is a gimme. Still doing the right turn. Still setting itself with the pose all the way in the left lane. So even though it doesn't need the pose in the median, it's setting itself up in case it does. That's exactly what I would hope for. Here we go, accelerating through the traffic. This is kind of crazy, isn't it? Who would think? But Tesla's doing it. And here we go for the next one. Stop line. Creep. School bus. For those of you that watched these builds over the last few days, it doesn't even seem like it's creeping as far forward as it has the last few days. I'm not sure. Maybe that's a change. Lots of traffic here. Motorcycles. Cars. Both lane. There's the gap. Is it going to go? Nope. It waited. Another gap right there. Nope. It's waiting. Look, that car was probably going faster than the rest. I think it's making the right decisions here. Tow truck. Lots of patience here. I'm really happy with this patience. I don't know if there's any interventions here or not, but there's the gap. Nope, it waited again. That's okay. Ooh, that was a very hesitant progression there. That hesitancy makes it think, think it was FSD there. And then the progression into the next lane. Hey, tell me what you think. Was that one all human or all FSD? We're all guessing here. I, I love watching it because we really don't know. But the fact it waited that long and that hesitancy when it entered the lane makes me think that was all FSD. This traffic is legit. I don't know how I would recommend Tesla solving it any other way than they're trying to do right now. I think they're doing the right things. Let's see how this one goes. Slowly creeping. As long as it waits on the safe spot and uses the median, this works. Big gap right there. It waited on that one. That was interesting. It could have made that one. It went for this one. Little slow commit. That's fine because look, there's plenty of room. It goes into the pose in the median. Now it's waiting. That was fine. Interesting. Each one of these is so different. We can all learn something from this, I think. Um, there's the, Okay, so that cut again was another battery. I had to cut a few of these because the batteries ran on the drone. I had to put the drone in the air. Way hesitant on that one. But it's almost like that time it waited on the guy from the right before it went to the median. There was nobody coming from the left, but it crossed the left like it was waiting on the right, which is okay because there's nobody coming from the left. It was just interesting to watch how it behaved differently. Maybe it understands that. Fascinating. All right, he's back. Good stop position there. Lots of traffic from the left, waiting. Definitely even angled a little bit to the right on this one. A little bit different. It's got a little bit different angle there. So many cars. It's being so much more patient than the current version one right now. I cannot wait to test this. There it is. Big gap, little right turn, and opposing in the median. Little close to that line on the back end of the tail. It's out of the way. 
That's a fine pose. I totally think that's FSD driving here. Waiting, waiting, brakes were off and it goes. I think that was 100% FSD. I think, I think this next version is working, guys. For this turn, on the cars it can see, I, it, I, I feel it's working. I mean, there are some scenarios where we see interventions, but it seems to be adding patience and using the median. I don't know. You be the judge. Have a great day.